Hello and welcome to the Raspberry Pi Open Alec Release Candidate 3 Beta 1 Impressions video. This video is meant to give you an idea of how well the Raspberry Pi can perform as a playback unit for XBMC. So what exactly is a Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a small credit card sized computer project that features HDMI video at 100 meg Ethernet jack, 256 megs of RAM and uses a Broadcom chipset capable of 1080p video decoding. The Pi has no built-in storage, so you need a regular SD card to load the operating system onto, such as I have done here with OpenELEC. The device is powered by a regular 5V micro USB charger from any recent cell phone, so you probably already have one lying around. However, the nice thing about the Raspberry Pi is that it's only $25 and already has two supported ports of XBMC, one of which, OpenELEC, we will be looking at here. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how long it takes for XBMC um, to start up on the Raspberry Pi, because it's kind of important. So in a second here, you'll see that the um, TV kind of turns on, and that's when I actually plug it into the wall. And from there, um, you'll see the lights flashing on the Raspberry Pi in the bottom right-hand corner there. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, and from there on, it takes about a minute and five seconds or so to get into the uh, XBMC interface. So OpenELEC RC3 Beta 1 is based on Frodo, which is the current version 12 of XBMC. Um, RC3 of that is currently available over at xbmc.org and if you want to go ahead and take a look at it um, you can get it over there. The nice thing about OpenELEC is it's uh, a very tiny distribution of XBMC um, specifically designed for devices such as the ION um, chipset that is uh, available in that Acer Revo that the Raspberry Pi sits on or um, specifically in this case uh, the Raspberry Pi itself. So you can kind of take a look here. It'll It's almost at the uh, desktop and from there on you'll kind of see me uh, moving around in the menu so you'll get a little bit of an idea of how well this actually works once you're in the there it is, uh, once you're in the menu so as you could tell um, based on the menu the menu was actually pretty snappy so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna show you movie playback and the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go back into the movie gallery, which I already scraped from my NAS, and I'm going to kind of scroll through here. And it's actually pretty decent and responsive, as you can tell by how quick it changes the fan art. So I'm going to show you Easy A again, which I already showed you in the um, in the Pivos iOS DX impressions video that I posted last year. So this is again um, Easy A, and this is just a regular um, movie that I have. And there is a small problem, and you kind of see it there. Um, that I've noticed with the version of um, OpenELEC that I'm running is whenever you fast forward or you skip in OpenELEC, it kind of turns the screen white for a second and then all of a sudden the screen will go back to its normal color. So I'm going to go back out of here in just a minute and go back to the menu and pick uh, Eden of the East again, which uh, is a 1080p movie so you can kind of see um, how well that runs. Um, and the subtitles again work pretty well here. It also has the problem where if you fast forward, um, it turns the screen white again and then all of a sudden the artifacts will come back and it will go back to the um, normal picture. So just take a look here in just a minute. So once I'm back out at the menu, uh, I just kind of show you again how it scrolls through and uh, you can kind of tell that it's it's okay at loading the fan art, but it's definitely not as good as a regular full-size desktop computer, which I mean you wouldn't expect it to be, but it actually does a pretty good job, much better than the Pivos box that I was reviewing last time. So the one thing I didn't do last time I reviewed the Pivos device was um, how well it played back YouTube and Flash video, and that's actually kind of one of the things I wanted to look at. So here I have already downloaded the YouTube add-on, which you can get in the regular XBMC repository. And while it does work, it is incredibly slow. As you uh, watch here, it, it takes me about a minute and a half, almost two minutes, to uh, finally pull up the YouTube video. Um, so here I just open up the add-on. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and hit search, and it's going to take a minute again. And I'm going to go ahead and search for, I figured I would search for Gangnam Style, because it has over one billion hits on YouTube, and I figured that would be pretty readily available. Um, it does play back all the way up to 1080p video, but as you'll notice here in just a second, um, once it actually shows me the results and I start loading it, it's just really slow. I uh, set the add-on to only 
show you 720p content and it still takes a really really long time um, once it actually launches the stream or opens the stream it will go ahead and buffer and buffer and buffer and buffer and uh, you'll see that up there by the clock when the screen goes black and there'll be a little box up there that appears where it tells you how much it's been buffering and as you can see here it's still loading um, hasn't even loaded the results yet so then um, once it gets there it'll actually start playing so just keep an eye out on it um, it'll go all the way through I played a couple seconds of the song for you and um, then you kinda get an idea of how well this actually works for you so here it's opening the stream and once it's done with this it will go ahead and simply buffer um, for a little bit and you'll you'll see how what happens then So one of the biggest reasons why I liked XBMC is because of the eye candy. Um, different skins, other than the default one, have a lot of that. Um, and I specifically like Aeon Nox, which I already downloaded here. I'm going to go ahead and apply the skin here in just a second. And uh, you can just kind of sort of watch what happens. So um, here you go. I, I'm picking it now and I'm hitting OK. So it's going to sit there for a minute and uh, try to apply the skin. You will kind of hear me every once in a while tapping on the keyboard. Um, I'm just checking at this point in time to make sure that uh, XBMC actually hasn't crashed because uh, the last time I did this on the Pivo's box it actually crapped out on me in the middle of the uh, video and then it just kind of crashed. So uh, just stick with it for a second. It will move here in just a minute and then um, as I go out into the main menu where it gives me the regular interface um, the thing actually did lock up and that was kind of interesting. So here it finally started moving again and it actually brought me back to the settings menu. And then as, I, uh, as I'm as i about to go out of here, it just kind of crashes. Which I didn't realize. I was sitting there for like four minutes and waited for it and I figured I'd spare you the blame. But then I go back in and uh, the skin was still applied so I went back into the movies thing and as you can see here, um, it still takes a little bit to go in. But it actually loads it, um, unlike the Pivos box which couldn't even display it. So this is uh, Aeon Nox now, and I kind of sc scroll through it a little bit so you get kind of an idea of what it looks like. Um, it's able to display all the fan art, and I changed one of the view types um, so you get a little bit of an idea of how well this actually runs. And it doesn't run too terrible. Um, compared to the Pivos box, it definitely runs a lot better. But um, Confluence, which is the default skin, is probably much better on this than any other skin that you can find. Um, maybe there are some other really light ones, but I really like, uh, I like Aeon, so I'm kind of partial to that one. So my final thoughts on this is, I was actually pretty surprised by how well OpenLEG ran on this little box, um, If especially with uh, Beta 3 of uh, Frodo, which is pretty cool, because that's going to be the new one that's coming out. Um, I'm going to be reviewing RaspBMC shortly. Um, I have to reload the 
Raspberry Pi with it. But to be totally honest, for $25, it's really hard to beat this little box. Um, if you're looking at doing something simple or maybe just using it on and off a little bit um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, it's definitely not the fastest, but it works pretty well. And the nice thing is I'm sure a lot of the um, little problems like the artifacting during the video playback or like the fact that the screen goes completely white when you fast forward are going to go away. Um, I didn't really have much of a chance to play with the XBMC remote um, app that you can get on the Android market to see if you could control it with that, but I'm sure as uh, Frodo gets released from regular XBMC, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. I also didn't try my Media Center remote. Um, I believe that they work. I've seen stuff on uh, the forum about it and other things like that. So I, I honestly, for $25, maybe you have to spend another 10 bucks to get an SD card and maybe another $5 or so to get a charger, um, like a micro USB charger so that you can actually power it up. I really don't think it's a bad buy. Um, if you're looking at doing something simple um, or you want to give something to the kids or if you want to use it for just uh, music playback and hook it up to your stereo and then control it with your, uh, your Android tablet, I think it'd be perfect for that. Um, is it the end-all be-all? No, definitely not. But it's a lot better, I think, at this point in time than the, at least when I looked at it, the Pivo's box was, and it's a quarter of the cost. This thing's $25, it's really hard to beat. Um, the only crappy thing was, at the time when I bought mine, they were back ordered for about th three months. I think it took them almost three months for me to get mine. But other than that, um, you know, if you're a little bit patient, definitely check it out. Um, I think you'll like it. Alright, till next time, take care.